Hey Tatians friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick first impressions of Heretic Dirty Coconut. I'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. Now for transparency purposes, this, this is my Semperd. I just got my package today, like 30 minutes ago. And uh, I've never tried Heretic perfumes before, so this will be my first impression of the house, as well as my first impression of Dirty Coconut, which was Scentbird's monthly fragrance. I forgot to put a fragrance in my queue, but this is a house that I wanted to try, and I do really enjoy coconut fragrances. Now, I sprayed this on my hand about 20, 30 minutes ago, so I kind of remember what my thoughts are on the first impression of the opening, and then we will do a first impression of the dry down. Obviously, I cannot give you a good, solid review because I'm only smelling this twice. And fragrances, generally, you need to wear a few times to be able to tell if it smells good, sits on your skin, longevity, things like that. So, yeah. Also, transparency. I am not affiliated with Scentbird. I do have a refer a friend code. If you sign up for Scentbird, you get a free month. I get a free month. Anybody that has a Scentbird account gets that refer friend code. So yeah, it's not because I do YouTube videos. So Heretic, I would mark it as like a clean based, semi introductory niche house. Think like Atelier Cologne, Les Artisan Parfumar, uh, fragrances like Joan Malone. Uh, more about the price point and the composition based off the little tiny bit of research I did while I was waiting for this fragrance to dry down. I believe their price point is around 150 to 170 dollars. I know this fragrance for 50 mil is like 165. I think that's their price point. Again, I am not knowledgeable on Heretic at all. So this fragrance is 100% plant-based, which I think is really cool. It's got coconut, sandalwood, vanilla, ambret, uh, cedarwood. They obviously have some proprietary blends, cords, and special little technologies and techniques they use to create these fragrances. And I would say that the opening of this fragrance smells really nice, but there was something about it that gave me pause. So I love coconut fragrances and coconut is one of those notes where it really is not hard to work with, but it's really easy to mess up a coconut dominant fragrance, at least for my taste, what I like to smell. I like really challenging fragrances. I like fragrances that smell mainstream and crowd pleasing and easy and nice and I like super challenging fragrances but there's one there's a few notes that if they're not blended and they're not balanced properly I can't stand the way that they smell and one of those is a very cheap smelling coconut fragrance. Now, I'm not saying that inexpensive coconut fragrances will smell cheap. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. There's some amazing fragrances out there that have a coconut dominant smell and they are very inexpensive. That's not what I'm saying. But you know how some fragrances you smell and there's just something off-putting about it and it smells cheap and chemically and synthetic. Whether or not something's synthetic, if you blend everything properly and you create everything properly, you can have some really fantastic smells and then there's just things that smell like bug spray or like 99 cent like gallon hand sanitizer that smells like coconut. And that's what coconut does to me if it's not blended properly. So coconuts can smell like really creamy and fruity and tropical. And it can also smell a little bit animalic and nutty and toasted and dry. And any of those ways coconut smells is fantastic, but sometimes coconut isn't balanced and then it starts to smell like synthetic or flat and coconut smelling flat just doesn't smell appealing to me. The opening of this fragrance had that kind of hand sanitizer like smell and I was so disappointed in the opening and this is why you should always judge a fragrance not by the opening but by the dry down. So I haven't really smelled this yet but I have been smelling it in the air while I worked and it actually is smelling so nice and so pleasant and so aromatic. So like I said I'm gonna smell this and if it smells anything like what I'm picking up just wearing it at, you know like a few feet away um, or you know a few inches away I think I'll be very happy and I, and I think I think I'm gonna be happy because generally that's how it works. And I'm right. Okay, good. I'm excited. So this fragrance, if I had sprayed it 
on myself, like in passing, like at a fragrance counter, I would have probably tried to scrub it off. It did not smell pleasant. It was like, like a one out of 10 for me. Like I said, I hate those strong chemically, chemically synthetic smelling coconuts. It just, it's not pleasant to me. But what I like about this, after like, I'd say two to three minutes is when it started changing on my skin, is it got softer, but it didn't lose that kind of dry, husky um, nuttiness that it had. And I think that's where the woods are really playing. This doesn't so much smell like a tropical vacation, a delicious drink you drink on the beach, or like a big bouquet of flowers that you would receive going on a luxurious destination vacation. This smells like, like a coconut, <laughs> like, like the husk and the meat and just, there's something woody about it. I mean, there are woods in this fragrance, but this, this fragrance is dry and there's like a woodiness to this that makes this a very authentic smelling coconut, but still a fragrance. And I think it's really nice. There is a slight roundness to this and I think that's from the vanilla but it's not sweet and I like that. It's really easy to balance out coconut with sweetness or florals. They are a fantastic way to create a, free, a beautiful fragrance which is why when I smell an unbalanced coconut uh, dominant fragrance I just it, it's something that I don't like. But this is nice. This is taking more of an approach to like woods and aromatics and something light and dry and less creamy and tropical and sweet. There is a softness to this. There's a slight roundness to this in the background, but there's something about it that I think kind of really anchors it as a coconut, like with the husk and like before you break into it and you get to the meat and to the coconut milk. So I'm actually really enjoying this fragrance. I'm not sure how long this fragrance will last on my skin. Again, I've only really been wearing it for like 25, 30 minutes. So I can't give you a good indication of longevity, but it took about five to 10 minutes for it to dry down on my skin. And I was able to smell it in the air and smell it change. I didn't have to like smell it up close. Like I kind of smelled it getting softer and rounder and a little bit more woody and less chemically smelling. So the opening is probably just a harsher opening, but don't judge it by its opening, judge it by its dry down. But I like it. It's not a bad scent. I might add it to my collection. It's not capturing a sense of urgency to add it to my collection. Like I'm not gonna like, turn off this video and go buy it. I've done that with other fragrances that I've done first impressions of. But at the end of the day, it's a really nice coconut set. And again, it's a little less tropical, a little bit more woody, nutty, and dry and aromatic. And if you like those types of fragrances, I think you'll really enjoy anyway, it. Those are my thirst, impre thirst first impressions of Dirty Coconut from Heretic Perfumes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.